Welcome back to Fun Time. Konnichiwa, to be honest. Actually, not really. But today we're going to make something related to Japanese culture. If you are Japanese, you may know. Because we're making something out of paper and it's going to be especially red. Okay, you may already know it. But let me just tell you, we're making a origami crane. Or you can also say swan, but I'd say the technical name is crane, for honest. So let's get started. Okay, guys. So first, you're going to need a square paper. You can use any color, but you know, according to Japanese culture, and red in the sense red excuse me red actually is that you know excuse um, me sorry nothing okay whatever <laughs> okay but in this crane we're actually making it red because i'll just tell you why when we now go on with the video okay so first step we're gonna fold it diagonally oh here he came now we need to fold it again diagonally so to make kind of like a measure triangle. Be very again, this is kind of light, kind of light, you know, very like really small bit hard. No, you can't see that much hard. And you again want to fold it. Horizontally. Make sure you give it a Not nice. Not only than this diagonally again. Oh, sorry. Diagonally, sorry. And once you do three times diagonally, diagonal folds, you want to open it up. Now, you want to fold it in half. See the opening side? Okay, actually, I don't want that side. You know, you have to like, you know, you want to experiment with your sides a little bit. There, now, you can normally, uh, you can do, it comes like this. Let me show you how. It comes, oh, there we go, you got it. It normally comes like this. Now, if you're lucky, if you're not, no, that much. You don't want to keep what, like, or, you know, like a diamond shape. So a middle line is more, you know, stable. Now, what you want to do is you can see this line over here, right? You just want to bring that down, fold it, and this line or crease should match up over here. And you want to do it on this exactly. On the side, and you want to flatten it up. Both ways are both effective, and yeah. Should I help you? <laughs> okay, I'll just show you again. Normally, if you know if you're the luckiest person in the world, you'll get it. But if you're not, you have to do a little bit of experiments here. Excuse me, you did everything wrong. Excuse me, so me mustn't. I'm gonna literally throw it like a flying saucer. Here. So now there'll be an opening point and a joining point, which is the center of the paper if you open it up and see technically. We wanna make the you know the top point where you can't open any paper at top. That means you know, not facing towards you, and the opening point should be facing towards you. So, if it's me, I have to do this, or for me, the closing point is facing you. So, no problem there. Now, we're going to take flat. I can see this middle crease, right? I mean, empathize it for you. Empathize it for you. And just... See, you just want to fold it close. Try to do it as much as possible. And then really slowly, nice and slow. 
I'm doing very much love for you. There. So, you know, if I am doing fair slow, it's way easier for you guys to follow. Okay, so, yeah. Nice and tight. I have my papers a little tight, so I need to give them all my, all my energy. And see, at this point, you want to fold it down. Now, here yeah, comes the tricky part. If you flip it over, it should look like a beautiful diamond. I'm just show it to the right view. Beautiful, right? And the face is the end of me. This time, you want to open this flap up. And what you're gonna do is slowly see this another area, right? Just wanna fold it slowly inwards. Very much slowly. Do not hurry. No hurry buddies here. And it won't immediately fall you know fold. You just wanna do it on the other side. Just like that. Mm. So let me just go do it a little more closely. Nice and tight. Now you want to flip it over. You're going to see a little bit of wrinkles. That's totally alright. Okay. Now you want to open these all parts and what you want to do, carefully, do not try, try not to open this part, but if you did, no problem, but still try to follow the best possible. You want to lightly do this repeat on the side. It's going to be really difficult here. Okay, this is very difficult for me to let me just do that. Okay, there you go. That. This way. When you fold, make sure this fall flap here. You know, remember though? You just want to make sure it's inwards. So, I'm pointing inwards. So, it's totally hidden now. It's kind of like a hidden triangle. You know, you don't need that. If you're done with this part, and now you want it smooth out every part, you know, if you're having any, you know, inconvenient points, you can complete that off, finish it off, just like that. So while I'm doing this, now what you want to do, you just want to you know, choose a lucky corner, this corner, for instance, make the close point facing upwards for easy attempts. And you want to open this while this side is closed and nicely secured. Now we want to flip it so it's like that. Just like that. And if you do like this, you would get something like this. And you know, see this line? You want to fold that in half. And correctly get it like that. Don't worry if you're not getting properly. If you watch Tutor Dance again, you know, if you watch the, it's gonna be very easy to do. No worries. This is the almost the easiest one. You know, if you think it's hard, it's gonna be hard. Now we're gonna do it on this side. So once the, you may wonder, what's this part for? I'll tell you simply, which one's going to be for the head and one's going to be for the tail. Moving on to the next side. While I did decide, I want to tell you some fun facts here. Or to be honest, kind of like a boring fact, <laughs> not really. But to be honest, and these are really good facts. I'm going to tell you about the Japanese culture, about this paper cranes about origami so in japanese culture terms <laughs> to be honest we call origami uh, we call it ad paper folding we're not cutting it now as you can see very much in detail there 
And uh, in Japanese culture, it's believed that cranes bring good, good luck in the long TV, which means you know to be, which means you can live longer. It brings happiness, and you know if you make a red one like me, it would often refer as Japanese red crown crane. You know, to be honest. Really, this is a f real fact here. Or it's often also said as you know, or honorable Lord Crane. You know, if you go into in depth Japanese culture, it would be way easier to know <laughs> these. Actually, I did not went that depth, but I still try to read a lot from Wikipedia here. Really, thanks to it. I think. So you see these two flaps, you just want to open it up. Already it's ready, but you know, it looks kind of bad. I know, who says this looks good? We're going to make it really good. Bye. See this opening here? You want to fold that and then just, you want to make it kind of like a 3D and keep that in, pull it out. Just like that. Look at how beautiful that is. Now we can flat that up. You know, if you want a really fancy one, you can try to do, you know, do some more designs. Uh, actually, I don't know that much about how you can design. But, you know, this is the best way I thought I could design. Really good. It kind of looks like a flapping one. I really love this origami. Did you know that it's... Before it was like almost like a god in Japanese, but now it's actually often used as a no, rest, no, restaurant, you know, decoration for table decorations. Yeah, that's really a lot to hear, but still some people believe it. Actually, me too. <laughs> so, yeah, let's see it with me. Let's, let me show you. This crane compared to me. It can be wonderful. The best crane I've ever seen. Actually, you can make a floppy one. Actually, this is really a good, it's kind of also often, you know, really a great decoration for your houses. You know, if you want to give someone a good present, add Jap, you know, someone who you like, or, you know, your friend in Japanese, you know, if your friends are in Japan or your friends are Japanese, you know, you may, I don't know, but you may find them somehow. This is the best gift you can offer to them and especially in red one if possible. So yeah, guys, hope you love this video. I have really, actually, these are true facts about the red train. It's a, these are Japan. It's really famous for these. Actually, Japan really loves this. So that's enough of crane there. Hey, you just be there. Don't fly away, okay? Don't go anywhere. I'll be watching you. Hey, where are you going? This naughty crane has to get to me somewhere, okay? Just don't mind it. So yeah, guys. Hope you like this video. Make sure you like and subscribe to Fun Time. Bye guys, see you in the next video.